Hi Church family, today is March 8. Our scripture reading for the day is John chapter 7, verse 53 through chapter 8, verse 11, and it says, Then each of them went home, while Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he came again to the temple, and all the people came with him, and he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and making her stand before them all, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. Now what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down, and wrote with his finger on the ground. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let any one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. And once again he bent down and wrote on the ground. And when they heard it, they went away, one by one, beginning with the elders. And Jesus was left alone with this woman standing before him. Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? And she said, No one, sir. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I commend, uh, condemn you. Go your way, and from now on do not sin again. In this scripture, we see Jesus addressing sins in a way that would have been counterculture in Jesus' Jesus day and to be honest even in our times as well we know that some sins of others may never impact our lives but when they do our reactions to these sins and even to the people may be similar to the scribes and the Pharisees our Lenten challenge for today is to consider this question what does Jesus treatment of this woman teach us about dealing with the sins of others Maybe call someone from your Sunday school class, share your thoughts on this question during WOW tonight, or discuss it with your family. Let us pray. God, sometimes we ask the question, is it too late to begin again? Have we missed the window? Can we change? With you, that is possible. With you, there is new life for me and those around me. Help us to be more like you, when confronted with the sins of others. Amen.